the uh, the battery died on that last one, so I'm hoping uh, this is working. I replaced the new camera here that we'll use real quick. So we we made our way up. We opened up our bookends. We're looking at the muscles of the upper region here. And one of the things you'll notice, so we have out to the side here, these muscles running on this angle like this. On this side, they'd be running like this. These are my external obliques. And then in front of that, I took this fascia and I just kind of peeled that fascia off so I could see that muscle underneath very well. Freed up a little bit from the external obliques. This muscle that's running on this kind of triangle pyramid-like, this is my pectoralis major. Pectoralis major. In the front, you'll see there's another muscle kind of sitting up on the shoulder. Sitting up on the shoulder here, you can free it up a little bit. my deltoid. This is my deltoid. Pectoralis major. All right, there's one more muscle I want to look at. Uh, before I do that, let me point out a structure that you should know. When the muscle from one side joins with muscle from the other side, it joins at this linea alba structure. You can see the linea alba on my frog here running down the midline of the ventral side. Now I want to go up to the chin. Now I have to be really careful because there's going to be some muscle that actually connects to this chin. Skin. I'm go real slow. Take my forceps. And right about here where we stopped cutting by that sternum, you'll see that if you lift this up, you'll see that little bit of muscle connecting to the skin. So I'll get my forceps in between those two. Sorry, my scissors. And I free it up. It's literally right there at the top of the sternum is this muscle that's on the chin it joins to the skin. It actually connects to the skin. And it's probably not connecting to the skin as much as there's just fascia joining it to the skin. But I don't want you to cut through that muscle. Once you've gotten past that tricky point, then you can easily get up to the very chin of the frog. All right. So look here. I, I fold that one over that I just did. And if I Fold this one, you'll see all that connective tissue there. That's what I'm being very careful of. So I pull that skin up a little. And if I look through that connective tissue, I can see the muscle. I just do little tiny snips with my scissors. Little tiny snips until I can see a place I may not use my fingers. I'll cut my fingers if I keep doing that. Just find a, a, a space between the muscle and the skin. And once I find that space, I can get my scissors, my real thin pointy scissors in there. I can finish that cut. See here, as I'm, as I'm doing this, it's pulling that muscle up. There we go. So just like I had the bookends down here, now I kind of have the same thing up here. All right. And take my hemostats, do that. 
try to utilize this forelimb here. Keep that down. Fold this one over and I'll just hold that one with my fingers. So now you can see I have this muscle sitting on the chin. What muscle do you think that is? It's a muscle that spans across the mandible from one side to the other. What muscle could that be? Just cleaning some stuff up here, doing a little housekeeping. If you're thinking mylohyoid, you're correct. Just like the mylohyoid we've seen before. Now take my scissors, go real careful, get them underneath the mylohyoid, snip a little, lift up the mylohyoid, maybe even use my forceps first. Let's do that. Use the forceps, just lift up that mylohyoid. Get the forceps underneath there. Remember I told you in the cat, it's so thin. Gotta be careful. And what I'm trying to do here is just go through the mylohyoid. I'm doing a real shallow cut. What I might need to do, you see how it's connected there? More fascia. Free up that mylohyoid. Go real slow. Watch, watch how slow I go. There's a muscle underneath that I can see as I do this. I'm not even cutting, I'm just kind of picking at it. Okay, let me take my forceps. Just clean this up. Clean up the forceps. Get that fascia out of the way. And you'll notice that muscle underneath it's very ribbon-like. See how ribbon-like it is? It's running from here to here. It's running from the hyoid to the chin. What do you think that is? Running from the hyoid to the chin. Remember, chin is genio. It's my genio hyoid. Genio hyoid. So what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to take my scissors, I'm going to do a little bit more house cleaning. I'm going to go all the way to the very chin there. And take this, if we would just gently kind of pull on it, you can pull the mylohyoid off the other side. You might need to help it a little bit with your scissors from time to time. not cutting through muscle. Now I can see both Milo uh, my hyoids are reflected I'm running down the middle here on both sides. Here's my geniohyoid. Here's my other geniohyoid. Okay, now I want to do this. I want to take that connection between them. Be real gentle. And work my forceps through to the other side. Take my scissors. I'm going to cut through one of them. I need to bring my scissors back in to clean it up. Start seeing a lot of vasculature down there. Whoa, this guy's got a nice parasite it looks like. Gross. And 
what you should see What I see here, let me show you what I see real quick. I see this worm-like structure. This is, this is a parasite right here. It looks like it's degraded the muscle that was there that I'm looking for. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the other side. have this muscle right here on the roof or very deep here's the other one it's been a little mushed this muscle that's smaller that's deep to the geniohyoid notice I cut both my geniohyoids that muscle is my genioglossus genioglossus and in fact, you can see where both kind of come up here towards the anterior portion. In the center, I have this other kind of bulbous-like structure between them. That's the tongue. Contraction of the genioglossus helps flick out the tongue. Remember I told you the tongue attaches to 